Howdy, I'm Cyberax with Outlandish Lightcraft, and today we're going to be helping out all of those new folks that are just getting started and just need a little bit of a help along the way. So we're going to install Blockbench, we're going to add in the Hightail plugin, and then we're going to make a chair, and we're going to try to do it as easy and slow and just smooth as possible so you can follow along so get get to your computer pause the guide if you need to if you got two screens you can pull up the guide on the second screen and on the first screen you could start following along so the first thing we need to do is open up chrome or your browser on a windows computer and we're going to go to blockbench.net and once we get to blockbench.net, we're going to do the download option. Now we can't just open it in a web app because we want to use the plugins. So we're going to do download. And once we do download, we're going to run that download. And you have a few options here. There's an installer. So we're just going to click install. And then we're going to save it to our downloads folder. And then once we save it to our downloads folder, you can see it pops up over here. And we can click it, or we can click our Manila folder here, this guy, and it's going to open up a folder, and we go to Downloads. And you can see you have Downloads in a few places. You've got it right here, and then we're going to double-click it, and then it's just going to start installing. Since I've already got mine installed, I'm going to skip the next step, but pretty much you're just going to hit Next button a few times until it's installed. Okay, so now that we've got our block bench installed and we're ready to go, we are going to launch it. And it's this little block bench dude down here, the blue guy. And it starts up in a nice screen like this. And the first thing we want to do is we don't have any Hightail stuff here. So we're going to go up to File, and in File we have Plugins. And in plugins, we want to look for available, and we have Hightail. So we're going to click Hightail, and we're going to click install. And that's going to install the Hightail plugin into Blockbench. So again, we go to File, Plugins, Available, and if you can't find it, you could search for it but it's typically right there, right in your view, and we want to click Hightail and then Install. So now when we come back to the actual main screen, we have two different types. We've got Characters, which is also Attachables. So this would be stuff like the players and say like a chest or swords or monsters and mobs, and then we've got stuff like props which are mostly just sitting so they're a block maybe a chair something that just is going to sit there so to make it easy we're going to do a prop because we're going to do a chair to start so we're going to click prop it tells you what they are and it tells you its limitations and then we're going to hit go now the first thing we want to do is we just want to name it so this is going to be my wooden chair and I'm going to say wooden chair A, because we'll probably have a lot of them. And then you have options of box UV and per face UV. And depending on how your workflow is, you, you'll you get used to where you like these differently, or you might use them for different things. But for now, we're just going to do box UV, and we'll just leave everything else there. We don't really care for now. Okay, so there we go. Now we have just an empty, open work area. Now the the something you want to keep in mind since we're making chair a chair, we're making something is the which way it faces, what's forward. You want the chair to face forward when we start making it, right? So in high tail everything for, faces south. So you see the little north is this way, so we want to make it to where everything's looking that way. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we see how we have cubes and groups, and I'm going to create a group. And I'm going to name this group the root. And this is just our root bone that we're going to put all of the other chair bones in for now. And then I'm going to make a cube. 
And so now I have this fancy cube here. And it doesn't have a texture on it, it's just empty, it's kind of black. If you have marker color the plugin, then you could right click and you can say what color you want it to be. So I want to have it be yellow for me. And you could change, or you could change brown, if, since we're doing a chair, if you want it to be brown. So there's a nice basic, hey, here we go. We've got a cube. Now, it's just a cube game, right? So to make a chair, we would just start adding more cubes. Before we get started, though, what we could do is we can click up here on this little middle button, and we can add a reference. And this just gives us a reference for the player for how tall the chair might be, or how uh, wide it might be, or where the character would sit. So we have some concept that we're not making something too big or too small. Now you can see over here, we just drag these around. It's just a cube that we can move around to where we want. So we could say, oh, there we go. Or we could make the cube bigger. So we could make it longer. Or we could make it taller. And you can type in here as well. And up at the top, we have these tools. So we have the tool for dragging the same way. So we just click this guy and we just click and drag him. So you want to kind of just get used to clicking and dragging expanding we start with a cube and then we're going to make it taller so we could say hey this will be the back of the chair and we say, well we kind of like that to be thicker right so now we have a one by one or two you know two by two back frame and we could do Control plus D, duplicates, duplicate it. So you hold Control and you tap D and then you get a duplicate. We could also come over here and we could right click and we could do duplicate. And if you can't remember what the, the Control D is for duplicate, it says it right here next to the, the little guy. So if we right click, we could say duplicate and now we have another one. So we have one here. We start with one. We're going to right click and we're going to say duplicate. So now we have two. And we say, well, those are back legs. Now we need some front legs. So what if we grab both of them? So control click allows me to select them both. And then same thing, control D. And now I have two two of them right and if I change to my scale tool and I could scale them both down to where I want the height of the the seat to be okay Now you could, if, if you struggle with doing the control click, you could just same thing. We can control click this and now we have two or we could right click and duplicate and now we have two and then we're gonna make it smaller and then duplicate again and then line them up. A lot of all of this is literally just taking something, duplicating it, and then scaling it how you want it to be scaled. So now we need so, a seat. There we have a seat now. So same thing, I just took this guy, I duplicate him. I drag him up to where I want him to be, somewhere around there. And then I take and I scale him 
and I can move them over. If I want him to be the seat, then I drag him to where he's all the way over there. Now, same thing. If I want to add some accents, I duplicate him, I drag him, I drag him all the way. Oh, I could even just leave it right there like that. <clears throat> that kind of looks nice. That gives me access back into here. And then you see I have a hole here, though. And this guy needs to go over one. So, same thing. Now I could grab the legs and I could use a leg. And I could put the leg in there and I could just shrink the leg up and then pull it over. And now I have that guy. And since I know I need one here, I could do the same thing. I can duplicate and I can bring him over. So, now we have eight of these cubes. And if you have a hard time seeing them, you can click them and then go to your marker color and we can change them to a different marker so that it's easier to see what they are. So now we need a back. So we could you could grab one of these and do a back, or you could grab the seat and do the back, or you could just put in a new cube. I'm gonna duplicate this, the seat. I'm gonna drag it up here, and then I'm gonna scale it to where I want it to be in the middle. Make sure that it connects, and then I'm gonna do D, 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 there you go. So now I got a back of the chair. And that's pretty much it. For just starting out and for anything that you're doing, it, it's really that simplistic that we're we're going through and we're just duplicating a cube over and over and over now to texture it we're going to create the texture we're going to set it to 64 because that's what hightail uses we're going to start with a color of brownish then we're going to leave the rest of it's fine we could add padding if we wanted Oh, but see, I, I, I messed up. This is why it's good to have these guides. I'm going to control Z and undo that. I didn't select them all. So up here, I want to make sure and select all of the, the bones with this root. And then I'm going to do it the same way. Set it to 64. Set my color. There we go. So now, and it's not setting colors right now for some reason. I'm not sure. So now we have our chair ready to be textured. So now we can come over to paint and we can start with fuel, uh, the fill box, uh, fill bucket. We can go find our brown and then we can just start cl clicking. Now by default, you can see it's set to face. I'm gonna switch it to element and then that means it's gonna do all of them. So it just gives us a nice basic starting point. So then you can go through and start doing your pixel art and doing that side of it. But to start with, now we at least have a nice base point that we can take over from and then start doing the rest of it. And I'm not gonna go through pixel art. There's so many guides on doing pixel art. Um, but just like everything else, you're pretty much just clicking and drawing. You're just gonna go through. Now there is this fancy little uh, checkbox up here, which is really helpful, that just has a painted grid, and it just means it makes it easier for you to see where the grid is, so that you could come in and start adding some some detail to it.
And then there's other tools. Down here there's a smooth tool. So you could smooth in some of those those stuff and there's quite a bit other in there so there is a basic start for how to get going install blockbench install the plugin and make a very basic chair so that you can get the feel for how blockbench works and this is just the basics of pretty much every uh, blocky style game now that you've done this you could go into bedrock or java and you could Make yourself a chair and put it in the game. Thanks for watching. I'm CyberX with Outlandishly Crafted. And this has been a guide on how to do the basics of Blug Bench for Hightail and get going with the plug in. And if you have more ideas for guides you'd like to see, or if there's other things, or you have friends or Discord channels that are doing this stuff, please tell them about me and tell them about these guides so we can get the word out. Uh, we have a Discord channel ourselves. If you'd like to come join in, we have a lot of these guides already in there for other uh, for block bench and stuff. So there you go. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell and keep those YouTube overlords happy. Thanks for watching.